guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Gigi the Gem. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video and make sure you comment below because if you have a video and you got a channel and you're doing your thing and you want me to come show love to you, your girl will come drop some gems over there real quick. That's just how I feel. Anyway, now that we've had that done, as you know from the title of this video, I'm getting a BBL. Okay? Um, this video is going to talk about where I'm going, how much it costs, who I'm going with, how long I'll be staying, um, customer service, and what a BBL is. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Gigi the Gym. And I'm here with some great news. Your girl is going to get a BBL, okay? Who I'm going with? I am going to Dr. William Carl Swartz at 305 Plastic Surgery. He's fairly new to Miami in Coral Gates. However, he is a, a board certified plastic surgeon. So that means he actually went to school for plastic surgery. Because the thing about Miami is, you know, you can just have a license and you can work under any head. Like you could be like, hmm, I wanna be a pediatrician today, but next week I'm gonna go do somebody knows or you know what I mean perform a rhinoplasty so it's like that's very important to me um I did put a few all right let me start from the beginning so at the end of 2017 I um began to go to the gym and I got me a trainer and I was able to lose 25 pounds 25 pounds okay I'm currently like getting ready to go to the airport. Like this is serious. But um I lost 25 pounds with my trainer. Shout out to Lady Beast at Night's Gym. They're black owned business. You know I support my people. Well. So yeah, um I lost weight. I was like, I'm gonna be net. I'm just gonna try to do it the healthy way, diet, exercise. And it was working out. I was able to do it up for a year straight. And then I wasn't able to do it. Like, my lifestyle had changed. So, I wasn't able, I was able to, like, um, you know, work out as much as I could. I'm going to get my body done because I just can't. <laughs> and it's like, some, to some people, it's like, you know, you shouldn't do that. Your body's beautiful. I know my body's beautiful. And this is my body and this is what I want to do. You know what I mean? It is a very dangerous procedure. As you guys may know, it's one of the most dangerous procedures. And about it, um, I just think I'm cool. Like, I don't think it has hit me yet. Like, maybe when I board the plane in a few hours, it'll hit me. But I'm just like, you know, I'm the type of person that when I make a goal or when I set a goal, I really achieve it. Like, I try to, to be like that. Like, I, I like to be fair to myself. Anyway, so, I was able to lose 25 pounds, and then I didn't get the results I wanted from the gym. So, I said, you know what? I looked into plastic surgery. So, with plastic surgery and your research, you want to start off by going on websites like um, Real Self, which is a social media, like a social media app for plastic surgery or like any type of surgery, rhinoplasties, breast augmentations, um, chin lipo, you know, all types of crap is on there. So that's where you wanna start off if you're looking for, to research a doctor. Secondly, you wanna go to Facebook. Facebook offers a lot of different groups that will assist you in, um, you know, finding doctors it gives you more in depth because you don't want to just go off somebody's instagram and pictures like with me per se you want to do extensive research and you want to be able to see somebody that you can relate to that you can talk to that you can share your experience with and when you're looking on facebook you want to type in like my doctor's name is dr william carl swartz so i'm going to look up dr william carl swartz group um dr william 
dolls group. Like you want to look for groups like that because that is where your research can begin. And um, the surgery community is beautiful. You know, it has its drama, but that's neither here nor there. But it's beautiful when you have no knowledge about plastic surgery. So that's where you want to start with your research. Those two places. And then thirdly, you want to go ahead and make um, a surgery Instagram page because that's very important too. You want to be able to connect even more in depth with dolls and sh that share their, that document their experience ultimately. You know what I mean? And then that gives you more comfort in your in your experience. The BBL procedure is just going to be them lipo suctioning my abdomen, my back, my flank area, and then reinserting my own fat back into my hips and my gluteal area. And that's really all it is. It may sound simple. I am going to be experiencing some bruising, some swelling, and some discoloration to my skin, like real discoloration, along with holding on to a lot of, like I'm talking about a lot of fluids, y'all. So that's when your lymphatic massages come into play. I know this is white, but don't worry about it. I, I'm going to cover it up. Um, that's when you're going to have to look into another costly thing which is your um massages your mass my massages cost about 325 dollars for five massages i'm going to need one massage a day after my surgery and then i also have set up post-op massages at home so during my stay in miami um my masseuse who's gonna come and do my lymphatic drain massages. I'll link that below. Um, like you can't just say, oh, I'm gonna go get surgery. Like it doesn't work that way. You're actually gonna have to be within a BMI. And you can just Google what BMI is. And when you get to a BMI calculator, you insert the appropriate information and then you will know what your BMI is. And that's how we'll do that. And then along with that, um, you know, you send your pictures over to a doc to a doctor of your choice. Usually you can find them on Instagram, but you can also Google them locally and go to a local doctor. I didn't want to go to a local doctor because the results of my local doctor were bomb, but I just didn't see myself investing that much money into myself. So I decided to go a different route. Now, I was going to go to like DR or Columbia or something like that. But I don't think I'm I'm built for that. Maybe one day, but I don't think I'm built for that. I'm using this Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil from Wonderless. Just because like my skin is just not looking. I'm so tired. I've been working like a dog. My skin is just not. I got two little bumps down here. You hear? The devil is alive. But you guys, so my flight leaves at 6.50 a.m. I'm so excited to, you know, go through my experience. Um, 305 plastic surgery, customer service was okay. Um, at first, it was like the bomb. But I guess over time, you know, they did apologize or whatever. So, like, you know, we're getting high volumes of calls. So, please forgive me. But you do have to, you know, be on top of them about things. But that's with anything in life. I'm not going to talk bad about anyone. Especially, didn't your mama say, be nice to the waitress. And people that's handling your food, we're going to apply the same theory here. So I'm just gonna put that on real quick. Just because my skin is just so freaking, I'm just not looking like anything. And then I think I'm gonna just go ahead and put a little bit of foundation. This is just a little bit of effort. Like this is not me doing my makeup, honey. Like this is me just recording a video for y'all sisters and brothers. I'm not trying to be a mess. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not. I'm kind of confident about it because I feel like I took the necessary steps in order to have this procedure. Um, your surgery supplies, your flight, 
your hotel stay, your food, your transportation means, your massages, and just to have emergency money as well. So, you know, you want to take all of that into consideration. And also, who's going to take care of you? Because when you go to these facilities and you go to have your plastic surgery, yo, shout out to my cousin at Galesmo. My hair is lit. I had to be popping for post-op. And I have a real large bonnet that can fit all my hair in it comfortably. So don't worry about that. But, um, yeah. Definitely, the surgery shit ain't for no broke bitch. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. If you are a broke bitch, I'm telling you, you need to start saving your money now. You need to put your deposit down. But the thing about plastic surgery is you constantly are changing your mind. You see one doctor, this doctor's popping. Oh, I'm going to this doctor, that's it. You send a deposit and then this doctor is giving out infections. And I'm like, no, fuck that. No, that's out. And then you see another doctor and you're like, damn, they slaying on Instagram. And then you go and you do more research and you're like, but that was around two. That wasn't a real slay. Like, it was already pre-molded. So, it's like, that's neither here nor there. But I want you guys to know that if you have any questions about plastic surgery or anything like that, I am not a guru or anything like that. I'm just simply a young woman that has done my extensive research for my own procedure. And I plan on documenting my experiences with you guys. Excuse my nails. I know they look a mess. But um, I didn't have time to go to the nail salon. But, um, yeah. So, like, I'm definitely doing this thing. I'm prayed up. I'm comfortable. I know everything's going to be fine. I know I'm going to get the results that I want. I'm speaking positivity into the universe. Also, it's going to be my first time taking a flight by myself. So, you know, this is just more than just having plastic surgery for me. It was me setting a goal, me achieving a goal, me having my finances together, being organized, you know, actually doing this shit. So it's like I'm very proud of myself. In regards to my goal that I set for myself. So, you know, this is just part one. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for part two, which will be up, guys. So, thanks so much for watching. I'm so tired. I'm about to take a nap. Because I got to go in the core. <clears throat> Peace and love, y'all. Thanks so much for watching.